matchup of the Holiday brothers, Justin and Drew here today. Here's Jaron Jackson. Two teams that are struggling right now. Both teams in need of something good to happen. Gasol back, unable to play in Toronto, returns to the lineup tonight. That's to be expected, but what a fantastic player. Trying to help his team find his way. And two institutions as Gasol right on cue. Hits a three for the Grizzlies. When he's played, he's had good contributions. He's going to get a nice run here over the next couple of weeks with Davis down. Look, turnaround hit for Mark Gasol. Memphis very comfortable slowing the game down. They know their personnel. That's been one of the problems during this losing streak here as Conley with a shot fake and hits it. And, and those two right there, Gasol and Conley. The rest of this first quarter, Memphis with the lead temple on the give by Gasol is fouled going to the hole. Worth your time. Well, you're a great ambassador, Grant. The things you do, things that are public and things that aren't. As Gasol, will, how about a little turnaround one? Up, New Orleans back at it. Miritich catches it deep. And Watanabe, another young player. Get a kittens. Get us started today. Memphis at 19 and 27. They've lost 11 of their last 12. Pelicans have yet to hit a three on the perimeter for Memphis. I like that. I like the point. JB Brickerstaff going with three point guards. Miritich. Quick trigger. Great cop floor together. Matching up for the second time. Gasol working on Okafor. And it's blocked from behind by Miller. Steps on the baseline. And Conley and Gasol. And Gasol. Met at the rim by Okafor. A block. And he'll start to transition. Holiday. Memphis does a good job getting back. Holiday keeps it going on that little secondary break. He scores with the left. 20.8 points per game. 7-0 run here for New Orleans. And now Conley for the an answer. And he's got it. Puts Memphis back on top. Great shot for Marcus Saul making that play. He could have gone to the basket. So unselfish finding his partner. Second assist for Gasol. Miritich knocks it down. <laughs> so. For Jackson, catches it deep. Got Miritich on. Good hands. Jackson. Oh. Here, particularly in sports and just if you could share what we talked about yesterday and some of your thoughts on that well I definitely want to commend you uh, you know for, for obviously being a, a leader he's or eat at the same restaurants and so just to see how far we've come and how the WNBA and NBA has empowered their players to make sure that we not only get better at basketball but we get we make the community better you know it to obviously when Martin Luther King was assassinated to stand on that balcony I've seen that in history books so many times and to be there you know it's very impactful you know to be a part of something that special mm -hmm. i mean dr mlk is a special individual and he lives on today you're hurting us with points in the paint stylistically though you guys said to watch out for a contrast of styles they want to continue to make, make the I'm not living clean because that doesn't happen to me on the golf course but <laughs> gasol fouled will head to the line a chance at three for mark gasol Three a moment ago. Has a couple of steals too, does Justin. Conley gives it up. There's Jaron Jackson. No, Gasol with the offensive board. And here is Temple for three. Yeah, rattles it home. Native of Baton. Said, but he's got great size. Not a great shooter. So playing in transition is important. But he gets out as Frank Jackson. Not step. Got the switch. Now to get back. Temple for three. No. Gasol with the offensive board. That has crushed New Orleans. Unable to secure rebounds. Just the rebounding picture overall, but a team that is desperately trying to minimize opportunities for their Angeles on average 13 and a half a game. He's up over 20 this year. Meritich drills a three-pointer. And now the three starting to fall. Guarding the ball like he did back in West Virginia. No kidding. Randall looking for help. Meritich, three-pointers up and in. Three-pointers are falling. That's the fourth of the quarter 
up in front of us so we stay out of rotation and keep those open shots out of the game. You know, you guys aren't necessarily a very high scoring team. For everything he has, and he's getting it done. The question is, can he sustain that for the rest of the season, that kind of play? Gasol before denied him. Conley gets a shot up. I think, you know, we had a conversation earlier about it, and uh, we'll see if, you know, he can get this team here, Pelicans, into the playoffs. But right now, they are clicking on all cylinders. Another one. They've made six threes in the second half. They're six of eight from behind the arc in the second half as Gasol goes to the hole and is fouled. And, and I think back to that interview that Roz had with Alvin Gentry after the first oh. quarter. We talked about right now, though, you know, Memphis down 20. You got to give a push here at some point. And obviously, Temple hitting the three is good, but getting stops. Now it's going to be a very interesting couple of weeks here, approaching the trade deadline of February 6th. As it's Saul with the catch and the finish. And these are hard, Saul, among others. How much value can you get back? Can you reset your organization? And it's easy to get into the here and now, but again, we're in Memphis on MLK Day. And you talk about two guys that have been extraordinary for this team and in this community it's tough to think about parting ways well they've been great ambassadors as you said great basketball players and really embodied what memphis grizzlies basketball has been all about but you're right i mean you have to be realistic as a franchise where you are but this is his season high tonight had a 17 point game against the bucks in december during the, during the season, you have to really rely on film. It's just a tough stretch playing every other day. And Alvin Gentry trying to manage his team during that stretch. But th this is a good moment. Injuries, finally this finger injury set him out here for a week to two weeks as Gasol scores at the rim. If he can be solid, just be solid, play within himself, distribute the basketball, I think New Orleans has a chance to move up a little bit in the, in the standings. Meritich hits another three. That's been the symbol of K-Day game played here in Memphis. They've been playing it here every year since 2003. That takes us to the finish line. Thanks to our producer, Bert Bondi, Craven Martin, our director. And a 105-85 final here tonight.